Hi, welcome to Eyes to Heaven. I am Jen, and today I'm going to talk to you about the next sign that God told me to lift up, which is Argo Navis, surrounding pieces of that. Um, I hope that you didn't have to click on a really terrible thumbnail <laughs> to watch this video. Um, I have no control over that because I have I don't have a computer and I don't have a way to get to a library regularly to fix these uh, libraries far away and stuff. <laughs> um, and so YouTube just chooses them for me and they have just been getting um, continually horrific and I apologize for that. Hopefully this one is better and won't look terrible. Um, also uh, I can't edit my videos just like I can't edit a thumbnail because I don't have a computer. Um, so last time when I spoke I was speaking about how the devil walks around like a roaring lion or a lion seeking whom he may devour and I said you know like in Psalms because there are allusions to that in Psalms but that verse is actually from first peter so i just wanted to clear that up because i can't edit it and i can't put text over the front of these videos um i'm just kind of at my my own mercy <laughs> at this point and uh the mercy of this phone which i don't have that much left uh battery life left on this so hopefully i can get through this um i also want to let you know that um, my videos are not for entertainment purposes what i mean by that is don't just watch my videos and then go about your day please like take notes and go look up what i'm talking about okay take it seriously um look into these things seriously because the things that i'm speaking about are very large and very important and if people took it seriously maybe you know maybe things would go better for us all okay now um there is a principle uh here uh, that I might kind of skip over when I'm speaking about this, but one of the sky principles is that the roots in the sky uh, correspond not just to one area. So, for example, WEG does not, um, it does not refer to just a uh, Vila. Um, it's also part of Taurus and the bull. So, hold on, I'm in my tent. I'm trying to get the lighting right, but you know, I can't edit this. So anyway, so the one of the last principle that I'm going to talk about today is, um, or well, that I'm telling you right now <laughs> is that, um, roots are in multiple places and please remember that. Um, so the first video I spoke about Corona, uh, the Corona Borealis, Corona Australis. The second video I spoke about Circinus and Pyxis. And Pyxis is the mast in the ship of Argo Navis. Um, so we're going to kind of touch on that area. But the third thing I spoke about was the tail of the lion, uh, which is Coma Berenice. And how, it, uh, how that kingship, that beauty of Israel, is what balances the true lion. And in the same way uh, that the... Uh, beauty of Israel and us telling people uh, that God is the true God and um, helping the kingship to balance in that way how it's supposed to be, um, we have to look at Argo Navis and the sails, which are Vila. So Argo Navis is a constellation that's a giant, it's in the southern hemisphere, it's a giant ship. Um, it has, it was broken up to, into, I think, three or four parts, um, later on. It used to be, uh, not that way. Um, but, so Pyxis is part of the mast. It is the mariner's compass, right? And so that is a picture of God, um, showing you his, what is right and what is wrong morally. And the Circinus uh, is the same way, but it is, um, planning. It's a picture more of him planning things out. But so Pyxis is the compass on the top of the mast, like the, um, the vein on the top of the mast, right? That shows which way the wind blows. Well, Vila is the sail and the sails, what do sails do? They catch the wind, right? They catch the wind to propel the boat forward. And so just like we have to be able to discern um, what God is doing in order to tell the world what God is doing for Israel's kingship and uh, Israel's lordship, right? We have to be able to move like a sailboat um, 
depending on the wind, right? The spirit, right? The ruach, right? So, you know, you know, these, it also has to do with watching and keeping watch. So you cannot, you have to be able to keep watch uh, as a, a part of the sale, right? You have to keep watch to know what's going on in the world. And we, you know, you have to be awake and you have to choose to be awake. I've spoken about truth and um, accepting truth and how, you know, you choose what you're going to do with that truth. Are you going to close your eyes, eat your Cheetos and watch TV and stay asleep? Or are you going to, you have to make a choice and you have to make a choice with God. And, and so your choice has to be that you are going to trust him, keep watch, pay attention, and you have to, um, you have to do this wholeheartedly and with a good attitude. You have to, you have to place trust, complete trust and have courage, uh, in, in the face of those things with the having the trust in the Lord, right? And you have to attach yourself to God. You have to hold vehemently, okay, to God, to the mast, right? Um, and the, in your moral compass. Um, and so, you know, God is the one, he is the one in charge of the winds. He is the one that propels things forward and propels the boat forward. And you have to let your sail out, keep watch and trust in order to go the way that you need to go. And people, you know, people choose to be asleep. And I've spoken about this before, but this is, um, you know, God has said recently that, um, you know, those people, they are able to stand now. They are, you know, it's a substantial amount of people. They're able to stand now and to choose to be asleep. Um... But, you know, that's not going to end well for them. And I've said that before. Um, but they're going to be drawn. They're either going to be drawn with the ship and do what's right. Uh, or they're going to be slaughtered. And that's the word that he's used. Slaughtered. And that means, you know, being stricken with blows to death. Okay? And so, you know, we have to have courage and place trust as an attitude and a way of life as a way to keep healthy, right, with God and to live in a good condition. Um, people that are closing their eyes on purpose, um, and it's weakening the people to do this, it weakens them, uh, they will be, you know, distracted in front of their TVs, right, and hit with blows. Um, so that's all <laughs> that I have today. I really hope that you look into these roots, uh, into these specific words that I use, uh, into this specific area and watch my other videos on this and um, come back and you know uh, study what I've said I'm not you know I'm not out here for my own glory you guys I'm out here for the glory of God I'm doing what he told me to do I hope people take this seriously this isn't a joke um, and you do your own research okay um, I've got two more of these that I've been given to do and I have to put them together um, and do them and then I've got my Sabbath videos. So I don't know what's gonna come next probably Sabbath videos I got a lot going on because we got Sabbath tomorrow and then we got Sabbath on um, Yom Shabbat, so um, I hope everybody is enjoying their last day uh, in their tabernacle and I hope to see you again soon. Y'all be good. Later.